Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 31st day of August, last day of meteorological summer. How about that? Feels like it. And a couple of isolated showers out there and tropical mischief in the Gulf of Mexico. What will that do to the Labor Day weekend? A lot of questions here. Let's see if we got some answers. Uh, first off, a little earthquake this morning. How about them apples? That was centered near Fay at only a 2.1. Most people won't notice that, although some did. Check our Fayette sky cam. Looks like everything is okay. I mean, a 2.1 is barely noticeable. That's the uh, Fayette County Courthouse there. Go to the uh, Gadsden sky cam. A little cloudy up northeast Alabama. In fact, got a few isolated showers that have popped up today on the eastern side of the state. Not many, but a few. And from Coleman on this hazy late August day, you can see a few buildups there from the uh, sky cam just east of downtown Coleman. Pretty much the same deal. Got the heat ridge across the deep south. And look at that flare of convection in the southeastern Gulf. Oh, boy, that's going to cause some anxious moments in the weather offices around the Gulf Coast states in coming days. We'll check the radar at 2.30. Yeah, look at those showers. Mostly along and south of Interstate 20 and east of I-65. And uh, they're drifting slowly to the northwest today. And they fade away quickly. And, and again, like we've said, you, you might see a few blips on radar, but most of you will not get wet for a few days. Here's a look at temperatures. Talk about a spread. That's a 26-degree range from 73 at Alexander City, thanks to one of those rain showers, to 99 at Tuscaloosa. Uh, Anniston sitting at 88. They've got a uh, nearby rain shower there. And Birmingham sitting at 95. We'll do probably low to mid-90s each day through uh, Saturday. And the really hot weather again off to the west over Oklahoma and Texas. We've seen that all summer long. But that will be encouraging. Yeah. Got a uh, snow advisory and a winter weather advisory for a couple of counties up in northern Montana. Come on now. I think we're all ready for a breath of fresh air. Uh, there's our convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Slight risk up on the Canadian border. And tomorrow, a slight risk again way up north. Okay, need some rain. Let me tell you what, uh, th there's potential here. There's potential to get a good soaker for Alabama early next week, but it all depends on the tropics. Uh, the uh, graphic there is suggesting 10 inches of rain uh, down around Morgan City, Louisiana. And heavy amounts on the Gulf Coast, really all the way from South Padre Island around the Horn to Panama City. And, and, and I don't think that you're going to get that much everywhere, but within that uh, tropical storm zone, yes. And it could very well be the Alabama Gulf Coast. So if you're packing for the Labor Day weekend, take the rain gear, as you'll see. We'll check the uh, tropical outlook. Uh, of course, Katia is a tropical storm on the verge of becoming a hurricane in the central Atlantic. And uh, you can see Invest 93 in the southeastern Gulf. And the guys have a 30% chance of this developing within 48 hours. Uh, it's more than likely going to develop and become Lee. First off, Katia. This afternoon, the uh, sustained winds estimated at 65 miles an hour. Should be a hurricane uh, tonight or early tomorrow. On the journey northwest, modeling in very good agreement. Models take it well north of the leewards in uh, Puerto Rico. With a bend poleward there in about uh, five days. and Should become a major hurricane. Uh, there's the intensity forecast. Some ramp it up to a Category 4. And the track from the Hurricane Center. A major hurricane passing well north of the Leeward Islands uh, early Monday morning. And again, this one should recurve into the open Atlantic. The only issue might be Bermuda. All right, let's look at 93L. Uh, a lot of convection disorganized now. This is just a tropical wave in the southeastern Gulf, but a uh, pretty reasonable chance this thing becomes Tropical Storm Lee in coming days. Uh, just the BAM set has identified this for now, and I'll show you the GFS here in a moment. The uh, BAM uh, set, that the M is middle, D is deep, and S is shallow. The shallow run takes it down to Brownsville. you got the uh, middle that loops it. And the deep brings it up toward uh, the Louisiana coast. And the clipper, that's a statistical model, the one that curves it up in through here. It could happen, but again, that's not a dynamic model. 
end of the intensity uh, models that pick it up, we have a number of them that bring it up to a Category 1 hurricane in 60 to 96 hours. Could this be Hurricane Lee? All right, Labor Day weekend system in the Gulf. Let's look at the GFS in the NAM. Uh, this is valid, uh, the GFS at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock Thursday. Uh, strong shortwave over Montana, ridging here. Uh, no change tomorrow. Hot, hazy, low to mid-90s. Might be a few specks on radar, but not many. Friday, uh, the model is pretty dry. And again, we, we, you might see a shower or two, but probably not many. We've got Lee that is south of New Orleans or south of Buras, Louisiana, with a big rain mass coming up toward the uh, central Gulf Coast, toward Mobile and uh, Gulf Shores, Destin, Panama City. So, you know, the Labor Day weekend could be pretty wet down there. And then Saturday, the GFS has uh, what should be Lee that's near the mouth of the Mississippi River with heavy rain possibly for Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Destin, Fort Walton Beach, Panama City. Uh, moving up into South Alabama. And remember, the, you know, guidance here is been all over the board. So we're, this is not carved in stone. We'll check the NAM. It is much farther west. The NAM has the system down below Galveston with a heavy rain over Louisiana and Mississippi and not as much so over Alabama and Florida. And I don't have the European graphic to show you, but it's been trending that way, too. I would suggest that maybe that uh, solution more like the GFS is more like it. Let's go back to the GFS on Sunday. It just sits down there uh, on Sunday uh, near the mouth of the Mississippi. And uh, we got a cold front coming in from the north. And you can see if by chance this is right, this would be a very good rain producer for the state. Tropical moisture, cold front coming in, just a classic heavy rain setup for uh, Sunday. And we'll go to Monday. And you can see the, the general weakness in the ridge here. And Lee is sitting just south of Mobile Bay. And let me tell you what, if by chance it does this, if, if it sits down there for three days in that spot, we could see some really serious flooding. You, you might be looking at rainfall amounts of uh, two feet in spots down there. And again, that's not a forecast, but we're just saying this is one idea. Uh, very light steering currents. It is not out of the question. And again, a cold front is coming in from the north. And again, that could be a good rain setup for most all of the state. And then Tuesday, finally, uh, Lee is beginning to lift northeast, centered near Eufaula. Heavier rains moving out of Alabama on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, the system is northeast of here. Still some wraparound moisture. I think by then we should be dry. And of course, over there on the right, that's Katia, the, the hurricane, very close to Bermuda. And again, our friends will have to watch that. And then... Uh, uh, it uh, ultimately dries out here beyond that. So that's where we stand on this thing right now. And again, uh, uh, it will change a lot. It's we, we need to get the system on the board and organized. Go to uh, September 16th, end of the forecast out there at mid-month. Trough out west. And around here, things look pretty quiet. And yes, another tropical system in the Atlantic. And it sure looks like a majority of the systems just want to be Atlantic storms this year. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.